Now is Washington head coach Jody Wynn and student athletes Amber Melgoza and Missy Peter Peterson. We also have sports information contact Jeff Hoffman over here. Coach, if you would begin with an opening statement, please. Sure. Uh, it's great to be here. Hi. Uh, it's great to bring Amber and Missy to the Pac-12 networks. We're excited for uh, this upcoming season. Hi, Percy. How are you doing? Good. Good. Hey, um, <laughs> is it possible to carry momentum over from one season to the next? The last time that we saw you guys was obviously at the conference tournament, and you, you let the place on fire. That was seven months ago. And so can you sort of rekindle that as you go into this season? I think that started back in spring workouts. You know, I, I believe that the momentum in which we ended the season uh, on a high carried us into our spring training and our summer training. And so I definitely believe uh, that um, you can carry momentum from one season to the next. I think a lot of confidence was gained. Um, it uh, it uh, a lot ignited uh, incredible work ethic. Um, for our players to be able to taste success again in this upcoming season. Um, I think our mentality. Um, it definitely is something to know that after all these games and the wins, um, and I mean, our loss at the end of the season, but it was something that, like you said, gained us confidence. And that's something that is carrying on from spring workout to summer and now to preseason that, pre -season that is coming up. Hey, Amber, how are you? Hi. Good, how are you? Uh, <laughs> um, I've watched you go off and have amazing scoring output, specifically on the offensive end. Um, let's talk about your teammates, how they can help support what you can do. What are the, what's the growth you've seen? Who are you expecting more to step up and kind of be that supporting cast member? Yes, definitely. Um, this girl right here next to me, <laughs> uh, Missy Peterson, she's doing a great job. Um, she's becoming an all-around offensive player um, as well as defense. Um, Haley Van Dyke, Maylani, um, and then our transfer, uh, Rita. Um, I think that's going to be something that – they're all very good scoring. They know how to score, and they know how to get the ball in, in the basket, and I think that's going to help us out, definitely. Missy, for you, that, that shot was so iconic at the Pac-12 tournament. I'm just curious, being on campus, being around others, um, how have you heard that reaction kind of carry over this summer, and are people still uh, saying, you know, 2.3 seconds, uh, <laughs> that shot? Uh, yeah, um, I wish I could relive that moment a million times, but I kind of get to a little bit when, you know, I see a lot of friends and a lot of people. Um, it, a lot of times it's one of the first things they ask me about, you know, what was going through your head? How'd it feel? Um, my answer is always like, I was numb. I was like, I, I was in shock. It was, it was so much fun, but, um, yeah, I, I, I get it a lot. I talked to a lot of people about it. Um, but aside from the shot, um, the whole game was so much fun. Um, you know, the shot was great, but everything leading up to it and um, the feeling of proving so many people wrong and doing something that not a lot of people thought we could do, um, that was my favorite part about it. Okay, so you prove people wrong in that game. How do you prove them wrong again this year? And not just one game, and all three of you guys have at it, not just one game, that no one picks you to win, but where you guys show up every day and nobody wants to play you because they know you guys are capable of that type of game. How do you carry it from one game and make it a repetitive movement, if you will, during the season? 
have at it. Do you want to go? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. So the song um, I definitely think it starts in practice. Um, practice is where you you practice how you play, and I think that's something we have. You play with heart in practice. You have a strong mentality. You have confidence in yourself that can carry on into a game, and I think that's very important to do. Um, also, I just feel that we are more – we have that chemistry bond, and that's something that's going to carry on as well. I think Ann will probably want it. I, I agree with Amber that it uh, begins every single day. It's not just something that we turn a light on when the games are on and, and all of a sudden we can outperform, you know, this monstrous opponent that's next to, next to us. You know, I believe it's every single day. We always talk about effort uh, combi combined with uh, performance equals wins. And so it's not always just performance, but you have to have effort. Um, and that's every possession of every practice. Um, you know, it's easy for young people to take possessions off, and we uh, work really, really hard about not taking those possessions off until there's a water break in practice or a timeout um, to be able to play through mistakes because mistakes are going to happen. We're going to turn the ball over, um, but it's the next possession. And just training ourselves um, that it's always we're always moving, moving forward, the next possession, the next opportunity, and not really dwelling on a missed shot or um, – a poor possession so you know it starts every single day and and it's nothing like we can just turn the light switch on I think we know have the know-how I think we believe in each other um, and now it's uh, uh, demanding of ourselves and being accountable to each other as teammates and and as coaches to uh, give us give our best every single possession Coach, we all know what um, Amber can do, and, um, you know, we've seen her, you know, have some amazing games in the last season and the season before, actually. Um, do you feel like on a national scale she's underrated? Um, and what do you feel, I don't know, can be done to maybe put her more on the national scale? I mean, she is one of the best. Yeah, I mean, Amber is extremely talented, as all of you in this room know. Um, she's uh, as pound for pound probably just as strong as any – off guard in, in the country, you know, fun fact, she just like deadlifted 341 pounds the, the no other day. Joke. So, I mean, she's a beast. Uh, she's been that way since she was seven years old, winning national championships, BM, BMX racing. But she, she is um, a talented basketball player and um, a Amber's challenge is to be, and what she wants to be is to be an overall complete basketball player on both sides of the, ba uh, of the floor. And um, she's been working really, really hard. Um, she studies game film. Um, she's improving her basketball IQ and um, understanding how to score when the ball's not in her hands. I mean, she's, she believes and we all believe that she can score at any time on any possession. And um, so it's just taking the high percentage shots and the right shots uh, for her to be successful. And you know what? We don't really get into rankings and where she stands nationally. It's Her job is every single day. It's every single practice. I mean, we're not looking at the dessert. I mean, whether she plays after her college days are over or not, she's we're looking, about, looking at every single day with Amber and how she's improving. Uh, on a daily basis because then at the end of the day she's going to be able to um, you know go off and do what she chooses to do hi i'm julie jagan from the salt lake tribune um so i wanted to go back to to talk about the the pac-12 tournament so utah had beaten you pretty handily just 13 days before you turned around and and you know kind of just took over the tournament. What, what what transformation happened in those 13 days? And could you tell that there was a, a shift of any kind? Let me just tell you, something came over us at the hotel. <laughs> and it just like, all of a sudden, we were just like, yeah. you know, Light a crystal ball. ball. <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, I think one of the best attributes is having a short memory, right? Uh, good or bad, you know, on any given day, anybody can beat anybody, and, and that's why we play sport, right? So, um, you know, we're, we, we remembered that. 
you know, as well as we remember the Oregon State 32 point loss a couple weeks prior. So, um, but um, we also believed, you know, and uh, a testament to these two ladies here is last year as they were, you know, Amber's kind of been a leader and as Missy was emerging as a leader in the program is uh, they took hold of their opportunity as a new opportunity, a new season. Uh, it was our third season, and we were zero and zero, just like everybody else. And we really believed in uh, studying game film and how we could uh, perform much better, um, you know, collectively as a group, and what we needed to do to secure a victory. Um, but it starts with the desire, you know, and the ladies not wanting the season to end. It's easy to want your season to end if maybe you're not as successful as you want to be. But these these two and the re and they led the rest of the team is you know they didn't they wanted to keep playing they had a desire to keep fighting and um, you know they liked the underdog role. I don't know if you guys want to add anything to that. No. Covered it. <laughs> yeah. Cindy Brunson, Pac-12 Networks. Amber, Missy, we always see Jody on the sidelines, walking up and down. If there's a piece of gum in her mouth, you feel sorry for the piece of gum. It, it's that kind of intensity and relentlessness. How much of that do you guys bring to the floor with you every time the ball gets tipped up? Um, I think one of the reasons our team is, you know, scrappy, we dive on loose balls. I think we are the way we are because of her and the staff behind her. Um, I love playing for that type of energy. Um, you know, I've played for a lot of different coaches growing up. I've played for the ones who stay seated the whole game, the ones who are super, let's stand up. And then I've played for Jody. You know, she puts her all into every game she coaches. And um, I think she's probably the funnest coach I've ever played for. Um, she pushes you. She wants to get everything out of every player. Um, but, you know, she has fun. She's going to fight for you. Um, and she's, you know, she's going to do everything she can to help us win that game. And I, I wouldn't trade her for the world. Aww. And uh, just to follow up, Coach, have you ever worn a pedometer, and how many miles do you walk during a game? No, but I think my body should look a little bit better. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I feel shortchanged. Oh, no, I, I, I can't help it. I tell myself, too, like, I'm going to stay seated, or I'm going to be calm, or... I, but I tell myself because then I watch and I look like an idiot. And so, um, especially when my shoe comes off. I, say, I feel worse for the heels <laughs> or than something. the gum. But I, honestly, I just, I want to be out there. I feel it's just like the kid in me. I'm like that, I think, every day in practice until my body tells me not to move a certain way. But, um, yeah, if I could slide with them on the floor or, you know, sometimes practice. I have to, <laughs> yeah. I have to, you know, kick my foot out so the ball can kind of go in <laughs> or you know I don't know it's just you know I don't I don't know if it'll ever go away I tell myself that I need to I'm getting older I need to calm myself down a little bit but it's just it's just who I am and I, I want to fight for them you know and I think that they know that they fight for us every single day my goodness you know every practice they're in there running and weight training and I mean it's I know I've walked their shoes, and I understand the grind um, behind the scenes. And so I just feel like I owe – that's my way of giving back to them, that all that they're giving me and, you know, our fans and our university. Jody, what do you want your team to be known for? Grit, toughness camaraderie, connectivity, um, that we can do anything together. You know, I, I just never quit, you know, push through the glass ceiling. I think these are life lessons that they're going to take well into the working world. And, you know, if somebody tells you you're not good enough, you're not – pretty enough, you're not tall enough, you're not smart enough, you know, just keep pounding on that door and fighting through and, um, you know, believing in yourself so you can then believe in each other. Any more questions for Washington? Okay, thanks so much. Thanks. Thank so you all. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, guys.